is your AFN Afghanistan Freedom Watch update. I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant Melissa Hay. Secretary of Defense Leon Panetta traveled to the front lines in Afghanistan to thank troops for their duty and perseverance. The secretary told the troops, this is where the rubber hits the road. You're the ones out here fighting every day. Not only is this area safer, this country is safer and the world is safer. That's what this is all about. Panetta also presented 12 Purple Hearts to Task Force Black Hawk soldiers while in the field. When a unit's time comes to leave Afghanistan, a great deal of effort goes into getting all their equipment back to their home station. Petty Officer Tristan Miller tells us how the U.S. Coast Guard ensures that gear is moved safely and quickly back home. With units constantly redeploying, moving equipment back to the States can be a hassle. U.S. Coast Guard 831st Redeployment Assistant Inspection Detachment supports units going home by helping provide a smoother transition. The structural integrity of the container is important because if you've ever seen a container ship, you know, they'll stack the containers 8, 10, 12 high, and uh, if the, the container is not structurally sound, it can actually buckle under the weight of the containers on top of it. The raid team services are vital to more than just one specific unit. Basically, our job, you know, it's important to the government these connexes that get frustrated at the port, you know, it's costing the, the Army thousands of dollars a day to keep them there. For more information, contact the RAID team at uscgraid at us.army.mil. Petty Officer Tristan Miller, Barbara Merrifield, Afghanistan. And that's your AFN Afghanistan Freedom Watch update. For those stories and more, go to our YouTube channel, AFN Afghan, or our Facebook page, AFN Afghanistan. Thanks for watching.